Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm still hanging on to this cold a little bit, so I apologize for that. We are going to be looking at the Amour Summer 2015 collection. If you watched my spring um, review for them, um, I just put that up and I actually really enjoyed that whole 12-piece collection. This is a 6-piece collection and I have to say I was really pleased with them again. And um, this is, I'm, I'm reviewing this directly coming off of reviewing the Essie Summer Neon collection and I have to say that I would actually probably recommend this collection to you higher than the Essie one. That's unfortunate and I love collecting Essie polishes just as much as the next polish hoarder. Um, but for your money, this one is going to give you better results and less issues and less stickiness and less staining and all that kind of stuff. So <clears throat> I'm really happy to be able to um, present this collection to you as a hit. So you can purchase this collection from exclusively from transdesign.com. That's where I purchased it. Um, they aren't sold anywhere else, so you could go there if you are interested in checking them out. So, um, yes, this is a six-piece collection. We'll go ahead and get started before I forget. And what is on my lips is a Revlon, what are these ones called? Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in the shade Coral, no, Kiss Me Coral. So it looks like this. I actually picked this up recently at the CVS Beauty Clearance. Yes, I am still occasionally <laughs> purchasing um, more lip products, even though I'm trying to go through the ones I already have, but look at how pretty that is. And it was on, it was like a 50% off. So anyway, really like that one. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with what's on my nails. This is a pretty typical neon collection. So in comparison, since we are comparing, um, Essie's neon collection, I wouldn't really consider them neon, but they're bright and they give us really kind of different colors like not typical colors. These are typical neon colors, as you can see, like straight through the rainbow, typical neon colors. So if you already have a lot of things that are pretty much exactly like this, you know, maybe you'll pass on these. But if you're looking for something that is very budget friendly and had good formulas, I would say maybe give it a try. So let's start with what's on my nails. This is their neon orange. These all dry down to a semi matte. They're not fully, fully matte. But if you don't like a matte look, you won't be able to probably see from there. Um, but you'll see in the swatches and in the photos. Then you may want to add a glossy top coat. They do have a little bit of shine to them, but they definitely are semi-matte. So just something to know. Um, all of these, some of them are pretty good even in one coat, but they're all just good, I mean fine at two coats. And um, so I really like that about them. You don't have to go overboard. They don't, they're not any of them so sheer that they definitely need white undies, things like that. So this orange one to start out with, this is called Forever 18 Love. And as you can see, it's just a basic bright orange. Um, here it is on my nails. This was two coats. And yeah, I mean, orange isn't my favorite, but if you're looking for a hot, hot orange, I mean, this one was super reliable and I thought it was a great, easy application. I love that when you don't have to mess around with application. So, um, yes, let's take a look at how it swatches Forever 18 Love in two coats. The next one I want to share with you, this is really funny, it's called L'Oreal Yellow Buzz. So like the name L'Oreal is the first word in the name of this polish. Not really sure how they're getting away with that, but um, I checked online and that's what it's called online too. So it's a basic bright bright yellow. This one isn't so sheer that you can't make it work at two coats. If you want to make it punch even louder, you could probably um, do some white undies on these or maybe even go three coats. I'm going to show you two, so let's take a look.
Okay, interestingly enough, they gave us two hot pinks in this collection. As you can see, one is just a little bit lighter than the other, but they're very similar. I can tell the difference. Honestly, I've had collections where I actually can't tell the difference when I look at them. Um, but I can I can tell the difference here, but they are very similar. So you, you maybe don't really want both of these. But anyway, the lighter of the two is called Neon Pink, so let me show you that one. Neon Pink is just a basic hot pink. Um, nothing really too special here. Um, like I said before, there's nothing here that you really haven't seen before, but I do think that they are um, nice in two coats, so let me show you. And slightly darker we have fusion neon so I guess maybe they're saying that this is a fusion between pink and purple honestly it's just barely a tiny bit darker than the last one I just showed you but it applies just as nicely so let's take a look Okay, two left, let's look at the blue. This one is called Ruby Kisses, and I have no idea why, because of course this is not ruby at all. It's just this nice sky blue, um, maybe with a little, little, little bit of green in it. Um, but yeah, it's really nice at two coats. I had no staining issues, so I'm happy about that. quickly moving along to the last polish this is called her royal highness and probably my favorite out of the collection but that's just because I go crazy for a beautiful purple and this one I almost had it down at one coat I was really happy about that I'm going to show you two it applies nicely just like the rest of them let's take a look Okay guys, so that was the wrap up of the whole collection. Honestly, after I had such a good experience with the spring, I decided to go ahead and pick this one up and I'm glad that they, again, didn't let me down. So, like I said before, you can find these on transdesign.com if you wish to. I think they're like $2.75 a bottle, plus you pay for shipping, of course. Um, so yeah, 
that was my whole review. Hopefully the live application helped for you as always. And I'm so glad that you stopped in to hang out with me today. Have a great day and I'll see you back next time. Bye.